Hello children. Welcome back to another session of learning English. Today we are going to see class 7 ICSC lesson 6 word study. So you can turn to your textbook page, page number 39. Today's word study we are going to deal with binomial expressions. I repeat binomial expressions. Expressions that have two words joined by a conjunction usually and or or are called binomial expressions. For example, you would have heard expressions such as so and re, sick and tired or up and down or even many others. Let's see few of the binomial expressions that are used commonly. Leaps and bounds or we say by leaps and bounds. The meaning of this phrase leaps and bounds is with very quick progress. For example, in a sentence, the profits of my company are increasingly by leaps and bounds. That means with very quick progress. Let's look at another one. Through thick and thin, which means through good times and bad times. Example, we have been together through thick and thin and we won't leave each other now. Sooner or later, which means something that will happen but the time is unknown. It either could happen sooner or it could be later. Back and forth, which means going to and from a place. For example, he is tired of traveling back and forth to London. That means he is tired going to London and coming back from London. Going to and from a place back and forth bit by bit what does this mean gradually it means little by little a small amount at a time a small amount at a time for example they renovated the old house bit by bit that means little by little a small amount at a time let's look at some more black and blue that means sore and bruised example the boy was black and blue after falling off his bike when you get hurt when you get bruised you see the different reactions in your body it turns black and blue let's look at another one by and large that means on the whole generally Example, he can be difficult but by and large he is a good kid. That means he may be difficult but then he is by and large a good kid generally. On the whole he is a good kid. Let's move on to the another one. A very common one which we have been hearing in many places. Do's and don'ts. Do's and don'ts which means a set of basic rules what you need to do what you need not to do for example there's a list of do's and don'ts on the wall for everyone who uses the kitchen first and foremost you have heard your teacher using this most of the time when she wants you to complete a particular thing and she wants to tell you that what is most important whether learning or completing your lesson or preparing for your test so she would use this phrase first and foremost example she went into politics for a while 
but first and foremost she was a writer she was a writer so what was important she was a writer though she went into politics the first and foremost thing that was most important for her was she was a writer let's see one more give or take which means more or less plus or minus an amount or number example i'll be there at 9 am give or take 5 minutes that means i'll be 5 minutes before 9 or after 9 so it will be more or less than 9 so not more than that so more or less plus or minus give or take look at this one we have been using this often keep your classroom neat and tidy keep your room neat and tidy which means with everything in good order keep everything in good order for example i don't know how you manage to keep your desk so neat and tidy let's move on on and off which means intermittently that means sometimes not regularly sometimes example i have been suffering from backache on and off this past year something that doesn't happen continuously or regularly but intermittently sometimes on and off have you come across this binomial expression ups and downs which means a mixture of both good and bad experiences or events a mixture of both good that means ups bad that means downs for example any and tony have had their ups and downs but they are still together look at this one make or break which means the result will be either success or failure nothing between i repeat make or break either you can bring success or you can bring failure example the next match is make or break for us if we lose we'll have no chance of winning the league this especially can be applied to your habits your habits can make or break you every action is a brick meaning it's what you do on a daily basis that depends on what you do and how you live so either your habits can make you as a good person or it could break you and make you a bad one let's recall and let's stick to these six special binomial expressions given in your textbook leaps and bounds thick or thin sooner or later to and fro back and forth make or break i hope you have a good understanding about binomial expressions now keep practicing them and use them in your daily language thank you children god bless you